Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 22nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun as we saw yet another, actually two more X-class solar flares and an M-class solar flare. So that's three X-class solar flares in a 24-hour period, and I do not believe I have documented that yet on this channel. Solar Cycle 25 putting on a show, and the most recent X-flare was from a sunspot cresting in. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, you can see that large sunspot right-hand side. That produced an X and an M flare. Two Xs and an M flare. And then just recently, in another X flare incoming. Large plasma filament taking off from the outgoing position. Multiple CMEs this week. And there is that X flare. And then another X flare right there and then the newest X player came in after I made up this imagery so I will be sharing images first a few images of the most recent X player having a look at multi-spectrum here pointing out the coronal holes we have an equatorial coronal hole earth facing right now and as well one in the northern hemisphere keeping an eye on that one in the, equ in the equator region as it is stretching southward. Looking at 171 angstroms here, we only have three sunspot regions, one of them blasting off two X-class solar flares. Actually, two sunspots. That's right, we have two sunspot regions, and they are both blackened. Having a quick look at that sunspot region in motion. Current space weather conditions, we are under a level three radio blackout impacts expected and already being observed. Multiple communications being disrupted early this morning and have been continuing throughout the day, but not everybody. So I'm not sure if that's really the cause of all the disruptions, but it's definitely coincidental. Solar X-ray flux showing the most recent X flare Looks to be about 3.5 multiple X's in the past 24 hours. Three X flares and an M-class solar flare. Another look at our sun here, and this is where we have the most recent image of the cresting in X flare. Watching on the left-hand side, you can see that bright sunspot region producing the two X's. And then just recently cresting in most recent X flare. Having a look at the DRAP highest absorption of frequency, cosmic rays, radiation pulsed right over the Pacific Ocean. Boom from that X class solar flare, instantly putting us into a level three radio blackout. High frequency radios definitely seeing disruptions in North America. Having a look at the space, predi space weather prediction spiral showing the CMEs when next, spe next space weather event is due 24th into the 25th from that large CME. ISWA is showing the same thing, large CME outgoing position but set to give us a blow 24th into the 25th. Lots of energy in behind that as well. And this is all connected to us, folks. The electromagnetic energy, the cosmic energy, we are all light. Having a look at Lasco 2, showing the last 48 hours of events. See me taking off from the south, and then X class solar flares. Boom. Solar Cycle 25 putting on a show, that's for sure. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours. As the map looks pretty quiet, but believe it or not, we're just under 300 earthquakes. Deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 565 kilometer depth, 4.6 there. 
and as well a 4.4 361 Kermadec Islands. Papua New Guinea, 4.4, 398 kilometer depth. We're seeing a lot of deeper earthquakes and we seem to see more deep earthquakes during space weather events. 5.0 there, Philippines. 5.1 here, Kuril Islands. 4.3 up into Mongolia, Pakistan, and as well a 4.2 in Greece, Kara, Greece. Oh, eerily quiet South American plate and as well central regions, the Caribbean. 4.7, El Torero, Mexico, quiet through Puerto Rico, and then North American soil. Seeing an increase right now, USGS is reporting 287 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. And most of the activity has been up into Alaska. And as well, parts of San Francisco Bay Area. Notable earthquake here up into the Pacific Northwest. 3.4, Marcel, Stillwater, Washington. Off the coast here, 3.4, off the coast of Oregon. No major swarms to talk about. The swarm in Utah seems to have ceased. But definitely seeing some increased activity all around the San Francisco Bay Area. So heads up, my California friends. Looking at Alaska, about 72 earthquakes all around. But definitely an increase there. So heads up, going to be keeping an eye on the Pacific Northwest into the Cascades over the next 24 hours. Now let's have a glance at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. And as I mentioned earlier, we are seeing a lot of deep earthquakes. The last few days, they're starting to really pile up and we're not really seeing anything to reciprocate. Most times we do see and will see a larger magnitude earthquake following deep earthquakes like this, but we haven't seen many large earthquakes in the past week pretty quiet but lots of things building especially across the North American plate big eruption at Popopoquetotl volcano in Mexico other than that no new volcanoes awakening we still have 42 that are active and erupting around the world now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast brought to you by our 42 volcanoes as you can see, big plume coming out of Mexico from the Popopoquetotl volcano and as well some big plumes moving into the west coast, the United States, straight across the Pacific. And then swirling and hanging around eastern regions of Canada and the United States. Having a look at Southeast Asia, Africa, and Australia. Nothing major to report. Still ongoing eruption at Mount Etna. But most notable today is the eruption. Mexico volcano Popocatetl. Big plume heading into the United Kingdom. Air quality on the rise, especially the Northern Hemisphere. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. Daily events worldwide overlooking Europe. You've got a strong low moving in for the 25th, and that thing is going to spin around the Mediterranean for a little bit. Africa set to see some rain with a low there through the Congo region. And as well, big low in the long range, North Atlantic, that could spell extreme weather for the United Kingdom and Ireland and eastward. Having a look here overlooking North America, big low there affecting Atlantic provinces. You've got two systems affecting you this week. West coast, you've got three low pressure systems affecting you. Watch for this Alberta clipper to bring in some snow as cold temperatures will be coming back here for the next weekend coming up. Minus double digits in some area parts of Eastern Canada. But these multiple lows set to bring in some snow for the long range. Stay tuned for the daily forecast here with daily events worldwide. Overlooking Southeast Asia and Australia. 
multiple lows spinning around Madagascar. And as well, a low pressure center still grinding, being blocked by a big high pressure off the coast of Australia. Watch for the long range to affect southern parts. Quick look here overlooking the Pacific, North Pacific, large low in the Bering Strait, set to bring lots of snow to parts of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. And then big system here developing for the long range for Kamchatka and as well the Aleutian Islands yet again. Interesting unfolding details around the world, my friends and family. And have a look at our polar vortex now as it looks strangely different from the last time I showed it a few days ago. Hence cold temperatures coming back to Canada. Watch for the swirling winds to come from the North Pole as the Siberian polar vortex is dropping at temperatures across China right now. Minus 50 in some areas, minus 50 degrees Celsius. And this polar vortex is still yet to swing around. So heads up, we've still got at least another three to four weeks of winter. Stay aware, prepared, stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.